Well, a community group protesting against the proposed closure of Edinburgh's worst performing school are taking their fight to the stage. Councillors say Castlebury High School and Craig Miller is failing to attract pupils and have launched a consultation process to close it. Locals argue it's a vital community resource. Here's Jennifer Harold. So we made up our minds, we will fight to the end. Echoes voices the community's frustration at the latest proposals to close Castle Bray Community High School. Parents and pupils staged a protest outside the school when the plans were first announced in October. Taking their fight to the stage was a natural next step, according to those behind the production. If you read the history, Craig, well, Helen Crummy and that, we've always used the arts. We've, we've used it for to stop motorways. We've, we've used it for, I mean, the arts is a massive piece of our culture in the Jane Craig Miller, so it's our voice. The cost per pupil at Castlebury is over £10,000. That's more than double the normal cost here in Edinburgh. Standard grade exam results are well below the national average and it's two-thirds empty, with just 21 pupils enrolled in first year. But the community groups say it's a vital resource used by local groups and providing classes for adult learners. They say the future of Craig Miller could be at stake. It's not unrealistic to say that the, the regeneration could stop because anybody that's looking for a new house or coming to buy a new house is going to look at the amenities, they're going to look at the education opportunities and stuff like that. And if we've not got that here, people aren't going to be attracted to this area, they're going to look elsewhere. Edinburgh City Council says it has the best interests of pupils at heart. With extremely small numbers, it does uh, bring about real difficulties when children, pupils have to go forward with their course choices. Pupils will be denied the choices that their peers in other schools um, may be afforded, and I think that's wrong. If closure plans go ahead, the school gates could be shut by next summer. Campaigners say they'll fight every step of the way, starting this weekend when they perform Echoes at the Gaff Theatre. Jennifer Harold, STV News, Craig Miller. Now for a look at more stories.